President Donald Trump has gone back on action against Iran just hours after approving it. The U.S. president had initially authorized military strikes after an American drone was shot down by Iranian armed forces. Now, joining us now is Bloomberg News Iran correspondent Golnar Montavali. Golnar, how would President Rouhani be taking this? So the fact that actually there were strikes that we understand that they were almost ready to go and he called them off at last minute. Um, it's, it's going to be difficult to predict how Iranian officials are going to respond, but so far, um, I, I mean, this kind of pattern of, of, of Trump going back, taking a few steps back on the rhetoric, and this time on decisive military action, which is obviously kind of much more, much more serious um, than, than stepping back on your rhetoric. But I think Iranians or Iranian officials, at least, might see this within that context and say that this just shows that the U.S. administration is confused in its policy. It doesn't want war because it won't know how to wage one against Iran um, and that Donald Trump isn't someone who can be negotiated with because um, we can't trust what he says. So my, my sense is that they might, they, they might couch their response in, in, within those sorts of Terms, but as yet we haven't had any direct official response from from Iran on on any of these reports that have that have come out since last night and and earlier a short while ago. Uh, Golner, are people worried about an escalation? Are people in the streets preparing for an escalation? I don't get a sense that there's any kind of preparation going on in Tehran for an escalation. I think people here feel so fatigued. Um, about the cycle of sanctions that they keep finding themselves trapped in. I think they're slightly fed up and maybe tired of the way that this relationship with the United States just seems to kind of go into these peaks and troughs, which really seem to damage their lives um, economically. So uh, I, I think they're being cautious. I think um, they've already experienced a, a very, very long war. The longest land war of the 20th century was between Iran and Iraq throughout the 1980s. So they know what it's like to live under rationing, to, to evacuate their children to provinces um, outside of the countryside. But they just haven't had to think about that for a very, very long time. I think they're looking at it very cautiously. But obviously, they would rather not be in this position at all. And I think overwhelmingly, they feel that they've been put in this position by a combination of U.S. policies mm -hmm. and a sense that their own government isn't able to maybe manage the economic fallout of those policies. Uh, Golnar, within the niceties of the moment, the New York Times article talks about potential attacks against military bases and missile defense, et cetera. Who is assisting Iran in the deployment of their defense? Do we just assume it is a Russian assistance? A Chinese assistance, or is it more complex than that? Uh, it's a very interesting question, and it's one that's very difficult to answer because we we're, we're not often given information. That type of information isn't made publicly at all. But we know that the Russians have assisted the Americans in um, gaining the S-300 missile system. There were reports earlier this month that, Iran that Iranian officials have denied. Um, that Iran wanted Russia to sell the S-400 missile defense system. We know that, of course, with over Syria, Iran and Russia have cooperated extremely closely over their military actions in Syria and their interventions there. China in the past has also been a source of military equipment for Iran, but not on the, I mean, on the ground, though, not at all, not so far. Uh, but again, we don't know how that might change, how how those relationships might change and progress and develop as, as things escalate. That is, if if they escalate. We also have a situation with Turkey, as you know, that Turkey is being threatened by Washington with sanctions if it purchases the S-400 right. missile system from Russia. And, and Erdogan has been extremely critical of the United States. And that's an ally that Iran can, I think, rely on if things escalate further. Well, Golnar, thank you so much. Golnar Montavali from Tehran.